thank you. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie today joining the bandwagon of mostly Republican governors saying they will refuse to accept Syrian refugees. Governors actually have no legal say in this matter, but nearly 30 governors are now opposed. This as the Muslim community in the U.S. braces for greater scrutiny and fears of a backlash. I want to use reporter N.J. Burkett is in Monmouth Junction, New Jersey tonight with much more. N.J. That's right, Liz. The Islamic Society of Central Jersey, where the imam says it's bound to happen, increased surveillance and monitoring. And the growing controversy over Syrian refugees is fueling fears of a backlash against Muslim Americans. Worshippers say it's inevitable. Increased surveillance of Muslims throughout the area. I'm a man that deal with reality. Some clerics, like Mustafa El Amin, say the carnage in Paris was so horrific, the implications so disturbing, that American Muslims should expect increased monitoring, if not welcome it. The Muslim community is trying to do all that it can, but we most certainly need help from law enforcement. But there are those who disagree. So they have no reason to watch the Muslims unless they have uh, probable cause. At a news conference to condemn the attacks, local Muslim leaders say there are serious concerns about a backlash against their community. Atia Aftab works with students at and, Rutgers uh, University. The students who I work with on campus are certainly concerned that they could be victims of surveillance. Some say an anti-Muslim impact is already being felt, with nearly half the nation's governors ready to turn their backs on Syrian refugees. Among the latest, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. I don't think orphans under five um, are being, you know, should be admitted into the United States at this point. I do not trust this administration to effectively vet the people who, who are proposed to be coming in in order to protect the safety and security of the American people. Critics say that's outrageous. We find those comments reprehensible. I mean, it just demonstrates the lack of compassion on the part of our governor uh, for even a five-year-old orphan.